That's why I say, uh, if you are purchasing a red light device, wavelengths matter. But when you go outside, it doesn't matter because it has all those wavelengths. That's how we've started to figure out that infrared light governs uh, uh, glucose metabolism, right? If you put somebody, uh, if you shine infrared light on somebody within 20 minutes, their glucose metabolism gets augmented. That means the glucose in their blood drops, their insulin is more reactive. They become more insulin sensitive just by introducing red light. That's why I say, uh, if you are purchasing a red light device, wavelengths matter. But when you go outside, it doesn't matter because it has all those wavelengths. So it, it stops when, when you use nature to your advantage, you actually don't have to think too much. But when you're trying to use it synthetically, now, now the studies become valuable because the studies are that precise. But then you step back and go into the natural world and you're like, where do these frequencies actually interact with the body? And you quickly realize it's always present from sunlight all the time as long as the, ball, the, the sun is up, right? Even through clouds.